Grassroots rugby in England is about to undergo an unprecedented transformation. The legal tackle height will be lowered from next season, a law change that has been met with opposition and concern at community level. I visited Grasshoppers Rugby Club in Middlesex to see what they've made of the proposals. So the, the legal height is, is shoulders. Yeah. But now everyone's going to have to tackle below the waist. Armpit, yeah, navel area, which is what they've, they've actually said um, in, the, in the paper, and it's below the, uh, below the waist, waist and below, yeah. OK, let's have a look at it then. We're actually going to just make a tackle anywhere above the waist now, just in terms of straight onto him, yeah? OK. So even if he goes slightly above, how is the referee going to manage this? Is that just a penalty? Where is it a yellow card or is it an immediate yellow card? Is it a red card? Imagine you've got two players going for the same player, but rather than traditionally one going high, one going low on a double tackle, we've then got both players going round. You can see that it's, a, it's a really close impact with both heads here as well. So are the RFU going to allow two men tackling or is it just going to be one man tackling? Also, if we just remove Chris and Pete's just going around there, what's the likely that if he goes down to the waist level, that he might raise a high knee and then a contact with a knee on the head. Is that going to be more of a concern um, in terms of head concussions? We're going to look at the pick and go. If you just pick up the ball there and attack this side here so we can show, just freeze there. If you look at the body height of this person, it becomes very difficult to hinge and get down low to try and chop tackle him. You've also got, if he does do a chop tackle and goes down towards the ankles, it's then what's the impact of the head on the, on the, on the lower extremities of the body as well? which is a big concern for us. Which yeah. is why a lot of people go high, is because they don't want to get that knee in the head. Of course, and you know, you've got big guys who've been playing this game for a long period of time, especially in the seconds and the thirds who play in the lower leagues, in the level sevens, the level eights, the level nines, who actually, they just want to throw a ball around and not worry about all of these things and maybe aren't as fit, but they love the game. So what happens to all those players? And our concern is, will they just leave the game like after COVID? We start tackling at, at six years old, so I'm 26 now, which is 20 years of rugby. So uh, I think it's just a bit scary to think that uh, we have six weeks left of the season and then all of a sudden we need to uh, go straight into almost halving what your tackle height is. It's been hard. We've lost the team this season already. We'd had to, we'd had to pull a team out of a, out a league and we're just scared that does that mean the people that are in their 30s, 35, that already thinking about retiring, is that just going to be the last, the last call for them, really? So overall, are you in favour or against this change in tackle height? Against currently. However, if they provided clarity on some of the rulings that we've discussed, I'm much more open to discussion and I'd love to see the game being more evasive and being more free-flowing because everyone wants to see tries because it's an entertaining brand of rugby. So if they just clarify those things, it might tilt me the other way, but at the moment, as it stands, unfortunately, it's a no. The new law will take effect from July the 1st at all levels, apart from the Premiership and Championship. James Cole, Sky Sports.